and welcome to church. I'm Mr. Norino, and I hope you'll join us for the next few episodes where we learn all about the different parts of the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass and learn what to do in the church and when. Before we even get there, Father is probably getting ready to celebrate Mass with us. He'll be choosing his vestments in the sacristy. The sacristy is a small room just off of the sanctuary, and the sanctuary is where we watch Father celebrate Mass with us. First, he'll put on an alb. An alb is a type of robe that reminds us of our baptism. Next, he'll put on a cincture, which is a rope-like belt. After that, he'll choose his vestments from four different colors. He'll choose a stole, which represents priesthood, and a chasuble, which is like a garment that Jesus would have worn. If it's ordinary time, Father will wear green. Green represents new life and hope. Father will wear red if it is a feast of a martyr, or when representing the passion of Jesus. Red is for the blood or the fire of the Holy Spirit. White is worn at Christmas, at Easter, during weddings and funerals. It represents joy, and purple is worn during Advent and Lent to show preparation and penance. Well, we've arrived at the church, and it's time for us to go and take our seat. As soon as we get to the row that we're going to sit in, we're going to genuflect. We pause for a moment, and we kneel down on one knee, and we face toward the tabernacle. We notice that the sanctuary candle is lit. That means that Jesus is in the sanctuary with us. We bow our head, and then as we stand up, we make the sign of the cross in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Then we can proceed into the pew and find where we're going to sit. Often you'll see people pulling the kneeler down so that they can kneel down and pray before Mass begins. Whether you choose to do that or not, it is a very quiet and prayerful time. So it's important that we are being respectful and quiet and prayerful while we're waiting for the procession to begin. Father enters in a procession. He's here by himself, but sometimes he's led by an altar server carrying a crucifix, a lector, and Eucharistic ministers. He pauses and genuflects before entering the sanctuary, and he walks behind the altar. Father reverences the altar by kissing it. Father is kissing the altar stone, which acknowledges this as the altar of sacrifice. He's reverencing the person of Christ, and sometimes the altar contains the relics of a martyr or a saint. A relic is a physical remain of a martyr or a saint, or possibly something that they touched while they were alive. Someone who was important to the church or died for their faith. And then he begins Mass with opening prayers. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned. In my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. 
you take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Father prays the opening prayer called the Collect, because he collects the prayers of the people. The unblemished, we your servants may come as we desire to celebrate the great mystery of the incarnation of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Father will then go and sit down in his chair, or cathedra, and await the liturgy of the word. Join us next time in episode two, where we discuss how the readings are selected and what readings get done in what order. We'll see you next time. Mm-hmm.